Hey everybody, I am back again with another toy review. This time it is the Jack Specific Sonic 2 Supersonic figure. Um, this is a new figure to this uh, second wave of figures that came out for the movie. Um, obviously, as he didn't use this form in the first film, um, I kind of wanted to wait to reveal this until later. So and then it was kind of hard to find. Um, I found one that had really horrible paint. Um, I found this one actually hidden at Walmart. Um, he's been pretty hard to find. So here we are, which is, this is kind of one of the reasons I waited to review all of these at the same time. Um, also in this wave, who I've already reviewed, is Sonic with a map and a ring pouch. Uh, Knuckles with a giant ring portal stand. Tails with a pilot hat, a boomerang, and a backpack that cannot be used, and it's kind of just sits there. Useless accessory. <laughs> um, Obviously, Sonic comes with a uh, Super Sonic comes with a big uh, Chaos Emerald there, which is very nice. So I'm gonna take this out. This. Let's see what we got here. It's actually stuck in the box here. His head popped off as I was taking him out of the packaging because his head is a big giant solid piece of plastic here. It's a big heavy thing that makes these figures fall over because their bodies are so tiny and he's top heavy. Um, so you can see it's just a peg. Head pops right back on. Uh, face and eyes, separate piece of plastic, uh, which is always something I like that Jax does. Uh, it's glued into place there. He has nice painted red eyes, nice painted mouth. Um... The seam can be seen a little bit. They did use a, a matte paint um, on the nose, uh, eyes, uh, and mouth here on this figure, which I really like. I think it works because the body is kind of more of a shiny plastic, um, which a lot of these movie figures seem to have. Um, I do believe he shares the same body mold, um, except for the head, of course, as uh, the regular Sonic figure. Um, it's just done in a gold a yellow plastic. Uh, let's see here. So he has the standard uh, ball joint articulation in the shoulders, which is very nice. Um, jointed elbows, which go all the way around and have a swivel as well. Um, the gloves, uh, I believe they're the same. <clears throat> I'm just going to bring them in so that you can see the body. Sculpt is exactly the same for both Sonics. Um, let's see, I want to see if the gloves are the same on these figures. Yes, they are identical. Um, <clears throat> nothing new there. Um, shoes are exactly the same. Again, like the uh, second edition, um, the red paint being used is a lot darker. Um, no new sculpt on the shoes. They're exactly the same. So there's that. Uh, I did mention other videos. These are a peg and the gloves snap right in and you can switch them up from figure to figure if you want to have them having different hands, which is a fun idea kids can do. Um, leg articulation is the same. There we go. Knee articulation. Also, all these are, they're not loose, but they're good enough and they don't get stuck. Uh, I had an issue with knuckles in my last video, so you'll want to watch that. Uh, again, just like the hands, these are on a peg. They snap in very easily. The big test for these is always trying to get them to stand up. But he actually, I take that back, you're going to have to probably like maneuver the way his feet are positioned, or you're going to have to get some figure stands for these guys, because they're just... They're so top heavy. That is a gorgeous figure, though. I actually may like him regular uh, better than the regular cartoony styled uh, Supersonic that I have. Um, which, let me get him. I'll show you what he looks like next to this one. If I can get this guy to stand up. 
All right, let me bring him in. I actually have that one on a figure stand, so I take it off. So this is the, uh, the classic supersonic. Oh, he has really, really huge spiky hair going on. Um, so you can kind of see the difference between the two. I think I kind of actually like the movie version better. Kind of pretty cool. But they stand up pretty okay together. Um, <clears throat> really, that's uh, it. Oh, besides the uh, ooh, Chaos Emerald. This is a big Chaos Emerald. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a lot larger than the ones that come with the, the regular figures. So these are the ones that come with some of the other uh, figures that have been released. Um, and you can see this is quite different, the movie version. I actually really love the movie version. It looks like a big diamond. It's really pretty. Uh, and they also have holes so you can put them on bases if, if you get a base somehow. They don't come with them, though. But that is about it for these guys. Not much else to say. Uh, it's a pretty short review. Um, like I said, though, not much else to say about them. Um, until next time, everybody, have a good one.